I was hoping that you are not going to ask that question. Okay. I, I was sincerely hoping that you are not going to ask that question. Because what happened two, three days ago on the Copper Belt, you know, the words, the vulgar language uttered by HH against his predecessor. In my view, lowers the levels of maturity of that office. A church has lowered the level of maturity of that office. He is coming across as a petty man. He is coming across as a man who is confused, who doesn't know which direction he wants to go in to go to. He is coming across as a vengeful person. Is coming across as somebody who wants to be idolized. And if you read the text, if you read the text or you listen to him, for the first time, he didn't use the pronoun we. For the first time, you're saying I. I'll make sure that he doesn't come back to power. Who is he? Who is he to make that decision? Who is he? To make that decision. Isn't that what people were saying about him? When they say, you know, or in PF, you know, HH will never rule this country. We will make sure that he doesn't. But he became president. Didn't he learn a lesson from that? Didn't he learn a lesson from that? Is that city an inheritance from his father? Did he inherit it from his father in Wengo? I thought that that is a public seat. Now, I can tell you myself that ECL has no intention of coming back to lead this country. Okay? But he has every right to live in this country and enjoy all the rights of any other citizen. That's a right that he has. And those rights are not conferred on him by HH. They are conferred on him by the constitution of the Republic of Zambia. He's got the right to go and worship where he wants to worship. Those congregations that he joins have a right to ask him to say something as a citizen. So to listen to a head of state saying that he, I can't be intimidated. Who is intimidating him? The only time when I, when I listen to this language is during the Churuwa Kaunda era. Who is intimidating him? What is intimidating him is the hunger of the Zambian people. The suffering that the Zambian people are going through. That is what is intimidating him. The failure for him to give you know, Mopani employees you know, jobs back as he promised. The failure by him to get KCM back on its knees so that the people on the you know the contractors who are supplying goods and services there can have a living so that you know the miners are back you know in employment that is what is intimidating you not lungu so he's trying you know to to divert the attention of his own failures by using you know ECM right he even lies let me finish he even lies in one of his meetings in you know on on the Koba Belt, you know that he, you know Lungu was trying to resist the handover of power. He even lies through his teeth. Now I have spoken to Edgar myself, and he has given me the version. That version has been corroborated by Arabi before he died. I met Arabi and he gave me the version. The only person that I have not spoken to is the President, you know, Kikwete. Who was one of the people in the, you know in that meeting? So the fellow is a liar. He stands on a podium to mislead you know these people and build this ground soil of hate against Edgar. Most unfair. If Edgar has done something wrong, he is in charge of the machine machinery now. For God's sake, let us know what Edgar has done. 
he's not the right you know person to start vilifying you and prejudicing you know whatever investigations may come he's not the right person you sound like a defender of uh, ECL no I'm a defender of justice I hate and they are whole in justice. Right now, whether it wh 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 my enemy what do you think um, uh, or not? What do you think should be done now to stop uh, this bad blood? The church must act from maturely or, and subsequently, you know, causing this nation to fall apart. Mbela, the nation will, will not fall apart because of HH. Who is HH to make this nation fall apart? Who is HH? He found this nation and he will leave it. Okay. So, move away from that narrative that I'm defending ECL. I'm, I'm defending justice. Okay? Because if we allow, you know, HH to build this culture, tomorrow it may be me. After he has already warned me, go and tell that Winter Kabimba, you know. He has already warned me. So he's coming up like I'm a dictator. Who, who to has, intimidate who, everybody. Who has warned you? Who has warned you? HH. He sent somebody? Yes, he spoke to Hari Kalaba. When? Oh, two months ago. What were the exact words? Go and tell that Kabimba of yours. That? That he, I'll deal with him. What did you do wrong? Because I went to attend the, the launch of the citizens' first, you know, or political party at the southern southern what? southern sun okay and I raised the issues of governance which didn't please him so because he's used to being idolized and glorified in the UPND he thinks that everybody else must do the same he's wrong he never glorified anybody himself okay so don't even he uh, give him these accolades, you know, that uh, no, the country will fall apart. It can't fall apart because of HH. There are people that uh, that uh, were in prison here. Jack Shamana was in, in prison in Mukoweko for 10 years on death row. That's the late Edward Shaman. Yes, late Edward Shaman. He was in Mukoweko for 10 years, 1981 to 1991. What is 127 days? That this man is singing about. No, I was saved by God. Which God? He was saved by Patricia Crossland. Which God can he, 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 he can save a vengeful person have like you that? Have I ever been uh, incarcerated as a politician? Do I have to? Is that one of the qualifications under the constitution? They say in Zambia, when you have been jailed, you are baptized politically. Where, well, you know, which jail did, if, 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 which jail did Manawasa go to? You tell me. Which jail, which jail did Manasa go to? The problem in this country is we want to promote ignorance. Which jail did Manawasa go to? Manawasa was a clean man. And up to now we still miss him as a clean human being. One of the cleanest politicians that this country has ever had. Which jail did he go to? He never went to any jail. So it's not a qualification. So that narrative, that, that is baptism. It's wrong, sir. But I'm giving you an example that uh, was a man called Edward Jack Shamana, who was at Mukobeko for 10 solid years, sentenced to death after the due process of law. And even when he came out, I asked him, you know, Mudal, did you want to overthrow Kaunda? He said, yes. And I, I should believe you were very young at that time. Yes. Because that happened quite a long time. 1981, I was not very young. I'd already left university. HH Agaribo ended up university. 